Good evening. I'm pleased to be a part of Intuit's visionary ball and celebration of its 29th year. As we all create new ways of working, making, and interacting in these challenging times, a few things remain the same. The power of art to influence our way of seeing the world, the importance of staying true to our inner compass, and the urgent need to support places and programs that matter. I've been a member of Intuit for the past 25 years, and over that time, I've been involved within the field of self-taught and outsider art as a curator, a doctoral student, and a professor producing exhibitions, conducting research, publishing, and teaching. When I think back over those 25 years, I realize that it's the personal relationships and experiences that have been the most memorable and meaningful. I recall laughing with Mary Ann Petway at the G's Bend Quilting Collective in Alabama while she simultaneously told stories, hummed a song, and stitched eight long lines of thread through dense fabric. And she never skipped a beat while doing it all. On a hot day in August, Pearl Fryer in Bishopville, South Carolina, explained to me how he developed a trenching method to keep weeds out of his topiary garden. A year later, he graciously gave a full tour of his two-acre property to a busload of my students. One fall, George Widener met me at my university's library and shared a sketch of a magic circle while explaining his fascination with dates. We spent over two hours talking about his life and new ideas for even more complex artworks. Likewise, collectors have kindly offered their time and expertise. I remember that long day with Bill Arnett, at least six hours walking through his Atlanta warehouse brimming with paintings by Thornton Dial, sculptures by Lonnie Holly, and other artworks by Mary T. Smith, Ronald Lockett, and Purvis Young. Bill paused before each work, noting its symbolism while expressing his personal admiration for the artist. More recently, Chicago collectors welcomed me into their homes and shared their prized Henry Darger artworks, among many other countless pieces, while I was developing the exhibition for Intuit called Betwixt and Between Henry Darger's Vivian Girls. I so enjoyed their hospitality and this rare opportunity to see the art up close and personal. I'm involved in this field because the artwork fascinates me. Outsider art poses intriguing and difficult questions that challenge conventional modes of art historical interpretation. As a scholar, I enjoy tackling these challenges. It's been my good fortune that I have met artists, collectors, and museum professionals that are accessible and more than willing to share their stories and experiences. Some have even become good friends. And I found Intuit early on in my career. I continue to support Intuit because it is a forerunner in what I see as an inclusive shift in the field in, of outsider art. In particular, Intuit is leading an effort to support under-recognized individuals and artists through programs and exhibitions. Likewise, it is dedicated to engage and educate audiences from all backgrounds. Intuit understands that art is a gateway to empathy and transformational change, and that looking for connections in the art is so much more valuable than noting differences between the so-called inside and outside of the art world. Today we realize that artists referred to as outsiders reside in our neighborhoods and in our communities. They are not physically or metaphorically located elsewhere in an abstract notion of distance. Like other trained artists, they use our art to speak truth to racial oppression and socioeconomic disparity to express cultural ties and family traditions, to proclaim religious convictions, and to express joy and hope for a better future, among many other things. This is the kind of art that all school children and, col and college students should encounter and think about. It is relatable, real, and affirming. It speaks to a human experience that finds value in diverse ways of understanding the world in which we all live. As a leader in the field of outsider art and an organization working towards creating a more diverse and inclusive place, Intuit finds itself in a position to be more relevant than ever. At this moment, when we keep our social distance, 
while yearning for connection and unity, it seems all the more important to renew our commitment to places and programs that inspire us, that build community, and that we love. Support Intuit. And now a word from the Intuit team.